Hi, today's video is um, all about, uh, I don't know what that is, uh, all about some more learning table ideas. Um, I have recently learnt though that although I call it our learning table, it's probably closer to Invitation to Play. Um, I forget the name of the lady who started it, if I remember I'll tag it in later. Uh, but essentially um, what she does is she sets stuff out for her children to encourage them to play and inspire them to play but she doesn't make them play with it, which is essentially what I'm doing. I put something on Rosie's table and Rosie wanders over to it and when she feels like it she plays with it and she puts it back down and everything. Um, so yes, it is closer to a current thing already called Invitation to Play and it just it uses a bit of shelf work idea as well. Some of the activities would fit well in shelf work just the way it's just the way I lay it out because we don't have shelves it seems closer to invitation to play uh check out that if you want to um a recent uh, youtube channel I found that I'm finding very interesting and I plan on making Rosie a a restaurant kit but not for restaurants um it's like a traveling kit really and some busy bags is the purple alphabet I'm really enjoying her channel at the moment so go over and check her out as well so Let's get into the video. Doing some Q-tip painting. Just decorating an Easter egg. I saw this idea online. You can probably decorating an Easter egg for Dad. You can probably print that out the melt, but it requires turning the laptop on and off. And dab, 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 this dab, is for Gamps, is it? Are you gonna fill in the dots? Dab. There you go, Gamps. I've got a list for you, so... Oh, I think you need to fill in more dots with different colours. There you go, Gabs. I've got some green. There you go, Gabs. I'm going to go for the green. Lovely green. Orange. So you, you can print Yellow, these out. Blue. <laughs> You're just taking a bit of everything. You mix it all, Babs. Yellow. You can end up with brown. Um, you can print these off, but yeah, our laptop's so slow. I've quickly drawn her out. Some dots to dot. It's called Q-tip painting, I believe. This morning, Rosie is sorting Oompa Loompa heads. There's another one I made myself, so. <coughs> oh, she's just a bit light. <laughs> she's doing okay. She's got one big one in the wrong place and one small in the wrong place. Basically, some of the heads are big and some of the heads are small, and she's just putting them in two different piles. I'm gonna let her do it, and then we're gonna I'm gonna talk to her afterwards and go over. Um, is it really big or small? Get them in the right piles. So, because she's just this is brand new to her. She's just enjoying pit, fiddling with the um. Oompa Loompas. Um, and also, our uh, we found this in a charity shop yesterday for £2. It's a, a Melissa and Doug tool set. Um, Daddy was playing with it last night, which is why it's already built into a shape. Uh, this is for her phone, fine motor skills and free play today. So Rosie is doing her two worksheets that I've set up for her this morning. The first one, they're both handmade. The first one is because she's a fan of the little princess. There's three different sizes of princess and three different sizes of crowns. So she's working out which crown fits which princess. So that's oh, a little bit, little bit of pre-math skills. Don't stay. And don't stay. visual discrimination. Don't and then the one underneath is my at family. Now because she's not because she's not reading yet. Can I borrow this one? Can you play with the crowns? Because she's not reading yet. Basically I got her to identify the picture. And because she knows her letters, I got her to identify the first letter to be able to find the word. So cat begins with curly cu. And there's only one curly cu word. So she just found the word. She's done this one already. Can um, I do it? She actually found it surprisingly easy. Can I do it? Um, she's also got 
some building blocks and I'm leaving this out because she's enjoying playing with this and twiddling with it and it's good good for her so, so this morning Rosie has um, a cut up toilet roll a couple of cut up toilet rolls and a piece of wool to do some threading I've tied it onto one piece and she's going to thread it through others um, she also has this um, I've shown you one of these before but basically she goes through the box and works out the beginning letter and places the item on the beginning letter and I've got something in the kitchen for her as well I'm going to take you out there to uh, in the dark. Um, I've also finally got her a baking sheet. So she did A through H with Daddy yesterday and she's going to do I through P today. I'm going to take off either the upper or lower, probably the lower, and she's going to match and then we'll mix it up a bit. She enjoyed doing that yesterday and she got the hang of it very quickly. So... We'll do that later when I can supervise her, otherwise the puzzle, otherwise the pieces will go missing. <coughs> I got That's a bunny, isn't it? Uh I will also show you the pen control sheets I did for her at another point because otherwise she'll want to do them right now. And while she's interested in doing this, I'll uh let her do this. So it's a bunny bab, so you put it on but that's a pig, isn't it? What does pig begin with? Puh. So where's the puh? Yay! And where flop goes? Flop begins with? Fluff. Fuff, yeah, fuff. She likes it when they put a character in. Donkey! What does donkey begin with? And your last item is a, a car. Cool. Yay! Oh, Rosie has recently um, seen Monstersaurus at the theatre, so we bought the book and she's obsessed with it. So I made her a sheet last night where uh, she has to match up. She reads the book and then there's certain ingredients that make the bogger blog and then there's certain blob and there's certain ingredients that make the dust monster so she's already done this this morning with daddy's help when she's a bit older it'd be good referencing skills for her as well because she, if she's forgotten what makes the blog blog a blob she'll have to go back and read the book and do it um so yeah she's done pretty well doing this this morning um because she's going out i haven't put much help for her um so uh I've done this, I had a bit of spare bit of paper and I didn't want to waste a laminating sheet so what I did was I drew a, a head and she can design the face basically. Um, her hair's a bit mad most of the time so it's it's supposed to be her. Then I've done my copy me sheet where I'll draw something, I'll sit with her when we do this, I'll draw something she copies to the best of her ability and I've also done her two new pen sheets so she's got help Charlie run home with his golden ticket and he's got to run past Slugworth and then get home and then I've also got um, guide Veruca to a soft landing after being judged a bad egg which is another downward stroke one so hopefully she'll enjoy this um, I have left her threading out she hasn't shown much interest in it daddy started decorating it with some stickers uh, but she hasn't shown an awful lot of interest so I might try um, setting it out a slightly different way uh, I might stack a few for her if I can get them stacked or I might thread a couple more to get her into it um, but otherwise yeah that's that's today so leave them up I hope that inspires someone with some more ideas please like and subscribe um, if you would like to see all the stuff we currently have that we are using I'm happy to do a video on our current resources and math manipulatives especially if you don't understand what a math manipulative is. Um, I did a haul today from uh, Wilco's and Little. Uh, I got some stuff for my restaurant kits, a couple of activity books for Rosie and some craft bits. So if you'd like to see anything like that, then please comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. But it's Tata from me and Tata from the Rosie Bear.